Bob Payne needs a natural community he can easily manipulate. At the tip of Washington's Olympic Peninsula, he stumbles upon a small but magical world. Few biologists had paid much attention to the tide pools along this rocky shore. But for Bob, they present the opportunity he's been dreaming of. There it was, spread out in front of me. It was Nirvana. He realizes these tide pools are a complete ecosystem, but in miniature. This magnificent array of organisms. There were carnivorous gastropods feeding on barnacles. There were sea urchins feeding on algae. There was a lot of pattern. For Bob, the tide pool is a natural laboratory. There are hunters, and filter feeders, scavengers, and plants giving food and shelter. And among the mussels and barnacles, anemones and snails, a large predator lurks. Despite appearances, starfish are skilled hunters. Each of their arms carry eye-like sensors. Starfish use their tube feet to pursue prey. They can pry open mussels, devouring them in their shells. Here, Payne conducts one of the simplest experiments in the history of biology. He removes starfish from one tide pool while leaving them in another. 